Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my video. So this is just a follow-up to my previous video on mining with a GPU and CPU. And I got a lot of really good comments about increasing the performance of XM Rig CPU mining software. So um, I'm just gonna go through some of the details of how you can do the same thing. I've already doubled my hash rate based on a couple of minor adjustments. So I'm gonna show you how to do that so that you can get the benefits as well. Okay, so right here is the first video. And if you haven't yet set everything up, then maybe you should go watch this one and get everything set up and then come back to this video and do the rest of the tweaks to get the better performance. So um, just a couple things uh, in the comments here. Uh, I, I, I would love to give a shout out, but I just, the comments are so buried right now. I don't remember exactly where it is, but um, basically somebody had suggested enabling huge page support and that frees up some additional cache so that the CPU can do a better job of hashing and it really improves the hash rate. Um, so uh, I did some additional research and I came across this guy's Steemit. Uh, his name is Tobias Reaper. So, I mean, uh, thanks dude for putting this article out there. Uh, if I could like upvote you, I would, but <laughs> I'm just gonna have to give you a shout out. But basically he goes through the details of uh, with uh, huge page support and without, and uh, it's a pretty significant increase here. I mean, you can see he's gone from, you know, about 310 to about 370. Uh, hashes. So I mean, hey, 60 hashes isn't bad. And in fact, most of my CPUs have been doubling in terms of hash rate. They would go from about 100 to 200 very, especially at idle. Like if I don't have any other processes running or anything, I can just let it sit there. It'll easily double it. So it's really, really helpful and very easy to do. So I'm going to suggest we start here. Okay. It's very easy to get there. Um, he's got basically three steps all right and um the first one is from start menu open local security policy all right go to user rights assignment double click the lock pages and then add your username and reboot very very simple okay let me show you how to do it okay so here's my mining computer and take a look right here you can see my hash rate is 99 hashes that's up from 40 so before I enabled huge page support, it was 40. It's more than doubled since then. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Just go down here to the Cortana bar and type in local security policy. Mine's already popped up right here. So click on that. Okay. And then click on local policies, double click user write assignment, and then scroll down here to where it says lock pages in memory. Double click this one and you'll get another little box that pops up. Now, you probably won't have any names right here, so you just have to add your username. So just click on the add user or group button and type in your username here. Now, if you have a local account, you just type in the name and click on check names and it'll probably find it right away. If you're using a Microsoft account where you have to type in your email address, then just put in your Microsoft email address and click on check names and it'll find it automatically and then once it appears here click on ok and then you'll see it in this window so that means that you'll be enabling it now you just have to reboot your computer so click on ok x and then just reboot once your computer comes back up and you start mining with it you'll probably see an instant increase in the hash rate just that simple, all right? But that's not it. There's a couple of other adjustments you can do. Um, we can reduce the amount of donation percentage, okay? So if we just right-click the miner and go to properties and then click on command line, then you can just add this command right here uh, where it's tac tac donate tac level one. And the number here is basically what percentage that you're willing to donate. So um, I just, I think you can set it to zero if you want, but I, I do appreciate supporting these developers. I want them to continue to make the software better, so I don't mind giving them a little something. Um, but Claymore basically takes one or two percent depending on how you set it up. So I think one's pretty reasonable for this, uh, considering the hash rate and everything. So I'm fine with that. And that will improve um, not only your, not so much your hash rate, but at least, you know, 
add to your bottom line so that you're not mining so much for the devs as you are for yourself in this case. All right. Um, that's not the only thing that you can add here, though. So if we if you if we wanted, I, I found another article over here on uh, GitHub. This is these are all the command line options that you can use for XM rig. So um, this one here is uh, tac tac max CPU usage. So the default CPU usage is 75 percent. But if you want to increase that, you can take it up to 95, 100. I mean, if you want to max it out, you could. Um, and that will get you some more performance, a little bit higher hash rate. The only thing here, though, is if you max it out, you have to be sure that your cooling is up to par, okay? You don't want to do this on a stock CPU cooler, or if you have a laptop, I, I wouldn't recommend it, okay? Because the temperatures may get too hot, and the stock coolers aren't very good at dissipating the heat. So if you have an aftermarket cooler, and you're an overclocker and you're already familiar with that kind of stuff then you should be in good shape to you know push it a little bit further but for most people who are just using you know basic pcs um you're probably safer just leaving it at 75 and i think that huge page support should be adequate enough for you but if you wanted to add this command um really simple you just copy it and paste it right here all right and let's change it say let's let's go ahead and make it 85 all right just for fun all right, I'll click on OK. All right, and see, this is mining right now, so I'm just going to stop it and then start it again. And we'll see that this the hash rate will be a little bit higher, OK? And you get the readout here. So see how right here it says huge pages available enabled? Um, by default, it would be uh, disabled, but now it's, now it's enabled. And then right here it says donate equals 1% because I made that... 1%. All right, but now take a look at the hash rate. It's way it's it's like another 10%. It's uh well, now it's bouncing back and forth, but um it, it hit 111 right there. So let's see if it bounces back up. Yeah, 105. Um it's yeah, it's going to bounce back and forth, but um for what it's worth, it gets a little bit more performance out of it. Um it it wasn't going quite that high, honestly. It was kind of sticking around 100. So, um, but that's the way it goes. It's one of these things. You're going to have to kind of play without, around with it your own and see, you know, what works best for you. Yeah, I mean, it bounces back and forth, but it's pretty consistently hitting highs of over 100. Yeah, see, we've got a min and a max, so 93 to 110. It's not bad, guys. It's I'm I'm pretty happy with it the way it is, you know. So I don't even mind if it stays at 75%. That's fine with me. And the cooler on this thing isn't all that great. It's a teeny tiny little cooler because it's my itsy bitsy machine. So um, as you can see, about 27 cents per day. So that's roughly uh, I don't know three or four coins per day. Not bad for uh, two cores, you know. I'm perfectly happy with this. So I hope that you guys have found it helpful and that you're able to improve the hash rate of your CPU. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit subscribe and ding the bell for future updates. Um, I've also decided to venture into the um, wide world of Patreon. So if you guys want to support the channel, um, I'll leave a link down below so you can check out my Patreon account. Um, also, get involved with conversation on our Discord channel. We've got a lot of great chat rooms there, um, tech support, people who are offering advice for mining and stuff like that. So if I can't answer your question in the chat, then uh, maybe one of the other miners that are already there as part of the community can help you out. So uh, don't be shy. Come on down. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.